so generous as to give up their spike every time and pass it off to a teammate. Because you'd have to be getting in the end zone a lot. That's true. And you'd have yeah. to not want to spike it much yourself. Giannis a little tricky. Scuba over the top to Osborne. About 50 seconds left for the Aviators to get this in the end zone before the quarter ends. Sam Cook on the sideline. Giannis gets it back. Another little scuba over the top to Osborne. Back to Giannis. To Daniel Brunker in the end zone. Giannis to Brunker. Kiyoi keeps it alive, keeps it moving for Van Dusen. Giannis, quick release. Osborne gives it back to Pavel. Pavel finds the lane, and the Aviators have their second break. And it's a three-goal game again. Osborne's going deep. Shapiro holsters, goes up line for Giannis. And back to Shapiro. I mean, that point against Shapiro felt awfully fast. And maybe I'll be wrong upon replay. Kiyoi make it to Van Dusen off balance, throws it deep to Giannis, who skies Weinberg and dishes to Osborne. Remember Colorado Summit offense last season. Steiner shoots it, and it floats perfectly for McDougal. Still work to do. Giannis to the end zone. McDougal is there. Assist number one in L.A. for Pavel. Took him less than a minute. Well, Jeff Landisman told us this week how much structure and organization Pavel has brought to the Aviators group as a whole and to its offensive playbook and its offensive outlook. They're just taking space. They're not taking a person. Changing it up. Giannis Scuba to Keoy gains some ground. Giannis does some give goes with McDougal and finds a streaking Shapiro in the back of the end zone. Giannis really made that look very simple to break through the zone. And Shapiro finding the open space in the back to. Deserves to be in the mix in this elite West division that has really been dominated by the expansion teams the last couple of years. How about that shot from Pavel Giannis? Puts it on a platter for Brandon Van Dusen. Aviators up two with 7-10 to play. I mean, look, that's the throw that finishes the point, but there were so many other throws. Marcel Osborne getting looked at on the sideline. He is standing up, which is good news. And we resume play with Pavel Giannis scoring his first goal as a member of the Aviators. Steiner now. Looking into the shadows is L.A. Kioi putting it out for Giannis. Woo, loses the hat but catches the disc. That's a goal for L.A. Very, very composed on that point they did. Very patient, moving the disc around. Really clean offense, really possession oriented. It is possible for it to get set off accidentally. I'm not sure that it happened there, or maybe he wanted to call it, maybe he didn't want to call it. You know, who knows? But in the end, there was an official timeout called, and Aviators have the disc. A diving bit there from San Diego, but McDougal is able to shake it off. Ever Shapiro with the disc on the near sideline. Giannis, a little jump cut, goes up line, past the defending Milardovic. Brings in the disc for the Aviators goal. A huge break point, pushing the lead back to two. 1917 Aviators, 518 remaining in the game. That was really cheeky stutter step and then could burst forward to the end of the end zone. So uh, really exciting place to see. The Aviators are, are not taking any chances with uh, miraculous throws. It's um, some teams would switch to doing a double team every single time now to just try to create more difficult throwing situations. And bookends there for LA. Version, 
like this is the time, you know, for the aviators. This is the time to keep that at 100%, stay possession oriented. And they do it. For sure. McDougal look for the disc back there. Giannis instead gets it and finds Sean McDougal in the corner of the end zone. If you're stepping around everything and throwing high releases. And Deucin with a nice high release to the break side. That opens up the lane for Cook to score. Osborne now guarded by Silverman. Lex to go up line. Besides right there. Oh, and a couple of quick passes for the goal. Keo with a big spike. He was just always in the right space. Pretty quick uh, exchange between Van Dusen and uh, Giannis. Looking for that final touch. Giannis with the throw and is going to be able to find Everett Shapiro. There he is. Oh boy. Boy doing a nice job finding those seams. McDougal is going to just <laughs> prance this one in the end zone. And so now kind of more of a regular offensive set. Giannis leads Van Dusen to the far sideline. Aviators will look to keep up their really good red zone percentage. Shapiro to Giannis. Giannis back to Shapiro for the... Back to Giannis. With an opportune double, but the scuba over the top gets it done. And McDougal comes away with a goal. LA's offense, one for one. Yeah, one of the stories... Giannis gets around the mark to Van Dusen. Inside forehand to Shapiro. Osborne snag before a defender can get there. McDougal about 12, 13 yards outside the end zone. Finds Giannis in between two defenders. A diving effort on defense from Caden Sigurud. You like the effort, but McDougal is able to bring down the disc in the end zone for the Aviators goal. There's the veteran Kioi making the right streaking cut there to the break side. Giannis sets the front of the stack and then immediately makes a really nice round break cut. Scuba, look out. Ooh, and a saucy one there. Shapiro gets in the end zone yet again. I'm going to get you the totals here. He's got quite a few goals today. I don't, I don't blame Monforti for blowing the whistle. At his angle, I, I'm sure it looked like there was contact in the back, especially. Scuba to the end zone for the score. Giannis oh to Cook. Giannis, a holster, he's unmarked. But of course, the time's running out, and he uses the scuba to create some space and connect with Marcel Osborne with one second left. What do you think of that defensive wrinkle leaving Giannis unmarked? Giannis doubled. Now one second. Giannis hammer floats and Ambrose runs it down and delivers an emphatic spike as the Aviators score at the buzzer to bring it back. Lavoie is, he's been everywhere today for, for Nitro, honestly. Big power throw here. McDougal. How did that happen? Wide open again. He's got plenty of runway. That has and to he's be. just going to land that one in there. 17 to 7 now. It's got to be a blown assignment from person. Real atmosphere trying to will Colorado to a turn. Shapiro floats it. Giannis, plenty of room. Work to do. McDougal's got it. 